Welcome to this July 2013 video report. I want to share some highlights around the theme of changing landscape. It's quite a relevant theme. Some of the churches I've been involved with are going through transition and uh, some I've been involved with for a very long time have been going through transition. Now, you can read the full report on the website, but let me just mention a few things. First of all, it was great to be with Greater Faith Ministries for their anniversary. They chose the theme, Speak Life. And as I was preaching on that, I thought this is just such a great way in which God changes things for us through his word spoken directly into our lives. And then I also was very privileged in July to speak at the Civic Thanksgiving service for 20 years of New Wine Church. Now, those 20 years have been remarkable. Pastor Tayo Adiemi did a great work, laid an incredible foundation. And even though he's just recently gone to be with the Lord, there's still this amazing energy in the church and you think greater things are ahead. And it was just wonderful to be there and to see how much this church was appreciated by the mayor and the councillors, all of whom were present. And it was just a joy to know that this is a church that really engages with its community. I also had the privilege of being with KICC for the opening of their new prayer city in Kent. Uh, various churches have looked at this site over the years and representatives of those churches were there to celebrate with KICC as they took over the facility. And uh, it was just great to be there. Um, the ribbon was cut by Pastor Enoch Adaboy of Redeemed Christian Church of God. And alongside him was T.D. Jake. So it was quite an occasion. And afterwards it was great just to be shown around by enthusiastic members of KICC, who I think really are going to use this site. Let's believe that other churches that are looking for relocation will be inspired by this and that those who've had an eye for that site in the past will also be able to find the facilities that they need. Well, another significant thing in July was that uh, I came to the end of broadcasting my series Leading Edge, which has been going out on Premier Christian Radio. And uh, I'm not going to give up the microphone entirely. I'll still be broadcasting on television and so on. But I'm looking for the opportunity to pick up the pen a little bit more. So do pray for me in that. One other thing I did was to go to Reading uh, in Berkshire, England, for Barnabas Fellowship of Churches Seven Mountains Camp. And as they looked at the Seven Mountains of Influence, it was good to think again about how we can, as churches, change the landscape in society. Well, whilst we're talking about change, there are some things that remain unchanging. Here's a little personal story. Uh, during the month, I was invited by some friends uh, with Marion to go down and have a meal in a little market town in Hampshire called Petersfield. And after the meal, we walked across the market square to what used to be the commercial hotel. Now, I've only seen this building twice before and once I just cannot possibly remember because this hotel was run by my great grandmother and I was taken to see her when I was a baby. She was a formidable lady. Um, she used to march all the local children off to Sunday school. Not always the same Sunday school. Sometimes she'd fallen out with one minister and fallen in favour with another. But uh, she had quite an impact. And now when you look at the building, no longer a hotel, it's a ladies fashion shop now, but the outside looks exactly the same. And it was just a reminder that with God, things can change and still be unchanged. That's just his grace and that's his favour upon our lives. Well, that's a little bit of the July report. You can follow me on Twitter. You can like me on Facebook. You can sign up for my monthly emails and uh, you can keep a watch out on the website because I'll be writing a blog shortly that'll share even more information on changing the landscape. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for your prayer support. I really appreciate it. God bless you.